Welcome to the Pilates Show, where we explore creative and innovative Pilates tips and techniques to help deepen the skill level of the movement educator while having fun. I'm your host, Erin Owen, and today we're going to talk about the brand new client and proprioception. I would love to talk about the brand new client. I have had experiences with some people recently who've had trauma or illness or injury or surgeries, um, and they are having trouble getting comfortable in their bodies again. And so something that I've discovered is to give them ownership of their own progress in those early concepts. So one thing I love to work with is this yellow bumpy ball because of its size and its texture. It's got these little nubs and then it's also a little bit tacky. It has kind of a, not stickiness to it, but a grip. And so one thing that helps, especially with the abdominals, because a lot of times there is a sense of detachment from their abdominals. So I like to, before we start to engage them, find them, because after all, awareness is half the battle. So I have them lie on their backs and supporting as needed for their bodies. I often will put something underneath their knees and then something underneath their head. Um, and then I let them explore their abdominals with the ball. So often I'll just let them do whatever feels comfortable to them. So it's a light pressure abdominal and visceral massage. And if they need guidance, I'll have them go down the left side and then up the right side in the direction of digestion. And oftentimes if they do have any inflammation from uh, digestive disorders or anything like that, this will help to calm that inflammation down a little. So after they have done a little bit of massage here, sometimes they'll find a sticky spot or something that needs extra help and I'll have them give a teeny bit more pressure and they can do a little wag back and forth with the ball to help release that tension. Once we've woken up the front area of our abdominals, we have the sides and the back because our abdominals are a three-dimensional cylinder. So I like to come to the wall and you'll place the ball in between your waistline and the wall and then you can kind of lean into it, place your hand on your opposite shoulder and then you can do a little tilt back and forth, just raising awareness that those abdominals wrap all the way around, especially our transversus, which is what we are really starting to wake up here. And then I like to move to the back, so we would do both sides first. And then I put the ball just behind my lumbar spine here in the back, move my feet a little further forward, and then I do a little rolling up and down. And this isn't necessarily to do an exercise with my legs, it's just to wake up that tissue. And so I'll tilt a little to one side, rolling up and down, and then tilting again to the other side to find those muscles. So now that we have raised awareness and we have found our abdominal wall, our three-dimensional abdominals, we're gonna bring those abdominals into a little bit more length so they can start doing their job. So reaching your arms above your head, you're gonna take your right fingertips and your right heel bone and reach them away from each other as you inhale, creating that lovely length along the right side of your spine and then same thing on the other side, left heel reaching away from left fingertips, elongating the side of your waist. And then you'll do two more times on each side. And that's a great way to end that little rolling series for your clients. That's it for today. If you have any observations or questions you'd like to be answered on an upcoming episode, please comment below on Facebook, Twitter, or on our forum. See you next time and never stop learning.